Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share you or show you how to make braided rug out of old shirts. I didn't know how many sh how many t-shirts did I use with this rag, but you can use as many shirts as you want. To do this project, I used the basic sewing kit. I have a pair of scissors. I used the yarn needle, which is not pointy, or your cross stitch needle. I have some pins here if I if I need it. I have my strong uh, thread. So let's get started. Our first step is going to be getting all your old t-shirts or tights or any tops that you wanted to make and cut them into strips. By cutting the t-shirt, start a slit on the edge. You don't have to measure it, just estimate it and you could just cut all the way around. Once you're done cutting your strips, next take three colors and you could just tie on top or you can sew it. For me, I'm gonna sew it and then after sewing it, you could just start braiding so now that I just sewed on top what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over just to hide the one I just sewed and then I'm gonna get my clips here's my, my clip and I'm gonna start so I got my clip and my board and then fabric I just clip the fabric on the board and then I'm gonna start braiding it okay so this is what I'm gonna do you know all have to braid right so just to make it also neat, I have to fold both edge. I don't know if the camera is a little bit far, so you know, just start braiding it. So you know, just find a way where you can click your your fabric or the make of the t-shirts or the strips that you you're making it or you could just you know you have a drawer desk drawer you could just close it you could just put it inside and then you could just um, close the drawer and then that would hold that would hold the fabric or this the strand so I'm just gonna break this one all the way to the end and then I'll show you how to add another strip without without sewing okay Okay, so now I'm close to the end. I'm gonna braid a little bit more and I'll show you how I add another strip. But, you know, I just wanted to braid a little bit more. As I said, you have to like fold both sides of the strip. That way it would look more neat. And then you do that. There. So you could see that the front is a little bit, this is the front and you could see a little bit like the bottom or the back is folded so once you uh, make this one as a rag we could just make want to make it sure that it's the top I'll show you later how do I do it so now that I wanted to add a new strip what you're gonna do is just fold to the very end not really no not the very end I'm sorry you just fold it like uh, close to the end and then cut a little bit a little hole in it as you can see it make a hole in it and then your new one this is the new strip and I'm gonna make sure that it's even on top and then we got to do the same cut also make a hole in it see there's a hole so now you know that's the hole and then here's also the other end so end to end just like you just Put the bottom, you know, the old one or the first strip, and then on top is the new one. Then you gotta get the end of this strip, your new one. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard because I'm the one who's taking video also, and I'm the one who's doing it. I don't have my assistant right now. <laughs> She's in the school, so this is the end of your new one, and then just put. I hope you could really see it. Just. Put under and then pull it out your new one okay that's how it is and then you know this is your first strip this is your second strip you know the end of this one I put it under and pull it out and voila it's like magic that's how you do and then you do the same you just do over and over okay 
here you go mga gayam so once all your strips braided together it's gonna be it's gonna look like this and now we're gonna make a ball so we're just gonna to make it more nicer just wrap it off on your hand and then wrap it off again wrap around again to the other side just do alternate it so that it would shape like a ball so that it would be easier easier to put it together like if we lace it we're not gonna sew this one I'll show you how how to lace it so it would look like that it's going to be a big ball and the finished product is like this I had my green I made my green one also so this is a round small round braided rug and this is an oval so I'm gonna show you how to lace it I'm just gonna uh, finish this one and I'll show you the next step. So here you go guys. I have this small one that I'm gonna make it round and this is the oval. So I have a basket here. I'm gonna put it in the basket. So as you can see this is the end of the strand and uh, I sewed it and I folded it the back and sewed it like this. So that's how you do it. Now we're gonna go to the next step. So now that it is like this, it will be easier for me to pull it, you know, and it, they don't get tangled if you do it like this. So all you gotta do is like just pull it and, you know, it would be easier for me to start lacing it. Okay, so this is the end of this strand. So I'm just gonna lay it like this and then here is the first curve. So you're just gonna curve it around, curve it around like that and then that's how we start lacing it so in this part you should know where I fold it as you can see it you f I fold it here so that's the wrong side and this is the top is the right uh, side remember when I folded both sides when I, I was braiding it so when I was uh, braiding so I'm gonna put a pin on it so that so the reason why I put the pin on it because I can uh, focus my attention that this is the it's hard when I'm the one who's taking a video and I'm just doing it also so I'm sorry if you can't really so this is the top so putting all this pin you can use also safety pin there and then I'm going to show you how to lace it after putting all the pin. So, lacing is not sewing. Okay. Okay, so this time I'm going to use a yarn needle and have this strong duty dual or dual duty uh, thread. Okay, so don't start on the top because once you start it here and then you go all the way to the first curve and then you you have nowhere to go you can't get out you have nowhere to, to go but if you start it here and then go all the way here you lace it all the way to the top and then you can go to the first turning grade it's going to be like that so once you're done here once you're done in here then you could go around here you go all the way again and then go around to the strand so that's the reason why you don't want to why do you, you don't want to start it there you have to start it here okay okay guys let's lace it right now so here's the pin that I put it on top so that's the top and you're gonna flip it over and this is the back so here's the I'm going to go through here. And then I just want to secure it. So now flip it over again and we go. So this time we're going to we're going to go through the 
so we are going to uh, go to the loop in and out here and then we have to skip one go to the other go to the other one and then you can see it we can hide that thread so we're just gonna go in and out in and out but we have to skip skip one yes we're going to skip some because when it's getting bigger one side is never going to be equal to the other but as you're skipping braid loops always try it if you can to skip to the outside Okay guys, so I'm up here now and I'm going to curve it. So when you start lacing here all the way to the end, make sure that don't pull, do not pull tight. Do it very loosely so that your rug doesn't curl. Make sure you do that so that uh, you have a nice uh, flat rug. So guys, I'm just gonna lace it all around until I have no strands left. And then later, I'm just gonna show you the finished product. Even the green one, the round one. So it's going to be a lot of work. So. I'm just gonna work or continue working on this one. So we'll see you later. All right, Mangaya, so this is what I've done so far. This is 37 by 16, and I have that much more. We'll see how how wide and how long this is going to be. So I'm gonna get, keep going, and uh, I'm gonna keep uh, working on it until my strand, uh, until I don't have a strand left. So we'll, we'll be right back when it's all done. All right, so for Mangaya, this is what I've done. It's getting bigger and this is the strand left. So I'm gonna keep going and I'm just gonna finish uh, all the way until no strand left. So we'll see you in a little bit and I'll show you the finished product and I will show you also the other one. So there you go guys, after I laced the last edge to the edge of the rug, and I'm all done. So, here is the finished product. So here you go guys, I am done with my project. It's so beautiful, so colorful, and I loved it so much. Look how big it is. So, it's so big, and it's so nice, and my daughter is so happy because uh, we're going to put this one in her room. And
So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions just comment down below and I will try my best to answer your questions. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I would like to see you again on my next video. Bye!